Have you ever seen a wind turbine? Wind turbines are more than just giant blades turning in the breeze. They are a marvel of engineering, the towering giants that grace our landscapes and harness the power of the wind to generate clean, renewable energy. Yeah, we all have seen them around us, in a movie or a video clip. But have you ever stopped to wonder how wind turbines actually work? Why are they so high? Why are there three blades? And how does it even generate electricity? Wind turbines work on a simple principle. Wind turbines use wind to make electricity. Converting kinetic energy in wind into mechanical energy and then mechanical to electrical by use of a generator. Imagine pedaling a stationary bike. You're using your muscles to generate mechanical energy. If you connect the bike to a generator, your pedaling can power a light bulb. That's essentially what's happening inside a wind turbine, but on a much grander scale. But man, it's easier said than done. The wind turns the propeller-like blades of a turbine around a rotor, which causes the axis to rotate, which is attached to a generator, which produces DC electricity, which is then converted to AC via an inverter that can then be passed on to power your home, which spins a generator, which creates electricity. The stronger the wind, the more electricity is generated from the motion. That's why we tend to see industrial-scale wind farms, with high towers and large blades located in the breeziest parts of the countryside, including offshore. The history of wind turbines spans centuries, and the development of this technology has evolved significantly over time. Here is a brief overview of key milestones in the history of wind turbines. Ancient Persia, between 500 and 900 AD. The earliest recorded usage of wind power for mechanical purposes dates back to ancient Persia, between 500 and 900 AD. Windmills with vertical axes were used to process grain and pump water. Europe, 12th century. During the Middle Ages, windmills became more common in Europe. They were employed for a variety of tasks, including grain grinding, water pumping, and wood sawing. The first windmills used a vertical axis design. Beginning of 19th century, windmill technology advanced with the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century. Windmills were commonly utilized in the United States in the 19th century to pump water on farms and ranches. During this time, the well-known horizontal axis design began to appear. Electricity generation, late 19th century. In the late 19th century, wind turbines were used to generate electricity instead of mechanical power. Wind turbines for power production were invented by pioneers such as Charles F. Brush and Poole LaCour. Smith Putnam, wind turbine, 1941. The Smith-Putnam wind turbine, built in Vermont, USA, is considered one of the first utility-scale wind turbines. It had a capacity of 1.25 megawatts and was used to generate electricity for the local grid. Oil crisis and increased interest, 1970. The 1970s oil crisis sparked increased interest in alternative energy sources such as wind power. Increased research and development efforts resulted in the production of larger and more efficient wind turbines. California Wind Rush, 1980s. In the 1980s, California experienced a wind rush as a result of favorable state policies and incentives. The wind power industry grew significantly during this period. Design and technological breakthroughs, 1990s and 2000s. Technological advancements, such as the use of composite materials for turbine blades and aerodynamic improvements, contributed to the growth of wind power. Turbines grew in size, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness. Global expansion. 21st century. Wind power increased significantly in the 21st century, with several governments investing in wind energy projects. Wind turbines have become a common form of renewable energy, providing a growing portion of electricity output. Offshore wind farms. 2000 to present. Offshore wind farms have grown in popularity as a way to capture strong and steady winds at sea. With larger turbines and more efficient technology, offshore wind farms have risen in size. Wind power continues to be a vital part of the global energy mix, with ongoing efforts to increase efficiency, reduce costs, and integrate wind energy into smart grids. The history of wind turbines reflects a fascinating journey of technological innovation and adaptation to meet the evolving needs of societies. There are several reasons why wind turbines are a popular choice for generating renewable energy. Abundant resource. Wind is a plentiful and widely available resource. Unlike solar, which requires sunlight, and hydro, which needs flowing water, wind is present in most parts of the world, making it a reliable source of energy, clean and renewable. 
Wind turbines don't produce any harmful emissions or waste during operation, making them a clean and sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. This helps combat climate change and air pollution. Cost Effective The cost of wind energy has steadily decreased over the years, making it increasingly competitive with traditional energy sources. Additionally, advancements in technology are continuing to improve efficiency and reduce costs. Versatility Wind turbines can be used in various locations, from onshore wind farms in open fields to offshore installations in deeper waters. This flexibility allows for their integration into different landscapes and energy networks. Scalability Wind farms can be built in various sizes to meet different energy demands. This scalability makes them suitable for powering small communities, large cities, and even entire countries. Economic Benefits Wind farms create jobs in construction, maintenance, and operation, contributing to local economies and infrastructure development. Technological Advancements Ongoing research and development in wind turbine technology are constantly improving their efficiency, performance, and reliability. This continuous innovation holds promise for even greater utilization of wind power in the future. While there are some challenges associated with wind energy, such as visual impact, noise concerns, and the variability of wind speed, the numerous advantages make wind turbines a promising and efficient choice for generating clean and renewable energy. David Williams lives in Alaska. He has always been passionate about the environment. He grew up in a city choked by smog and pollution. He spoke of his dream of a world powered by clean energy, a world where the wind sang lullabies of a sustainable future. First time in his life he lived on wind energy, and this was something that was totally new to him. He has been living off-grid now for over 10 years and has quite a bit of experience with solar and hydro, but not wind energy. He found wind energy as a much better power source and also recommended it to all of us. He inspired all of us to be a part of that future, to use the wind's power not just to light our home, but to light the way for a better world. Why are they made so taller? Turbine towers are made taller to capture more energy since winds generally increase as altitudes increase. At higher heights above the ground, wind can flow more freely, with less friction from obstacles on the Earth's surface, such as trees and other vegetation, buildings and mountains. The change in wind speed with altitude is called wind shear. Why exactly three blades? Having fewer blades reduces drag, but two-bladed turbines will wobble when they turn to face the wind. This is because their angular momentum in the vertical axis changes depending on whether the blades are vertical or horizontal. With three blades, the angular momentum stays constant because when one blade is up, the other two are pointing at such an angle that the turbine can rotate into the wind smoothly, optimizing their efficiency. Building a wind turbine isn't just a matter of crafting colossal blades and hoping for the best. Engineers and designers work tirelessly to optimize every aspect for maximum efficiency. Length of the blades, the materials used in construction, and the orientation of the turbine to the wind. All these factors are considered very crucial as their goal is to extract every ounce of energy from the wind and convert it into electricity with the highest possible efficiency. The blade material is mostly fiberglass or carbon fiber due to the following benefits. They are lightweight, durable, and strong. They offer a high stiffness to weight ratio, enhances blade rigidity, and reduces weight. Excellent resistance to corrosion. Other than blades, the system also contains anemometers. These instruments measure wind speed, allowing the turbine to adjust its pitch and angle for maximum efficiency. Wind vanes. These determine the wind direction, allowing the turbine to rotate and face the wind head on. Yaw motors. These powerful motors rotate the nacelle to align the blades with the wind. Computer systems. These brains of the operation monitor conditions, control various systems, and ensure safe and efficient operation. The environmental impact of electricity generation from wind power is minor when compared to that of fossil fuel power. Wind turbines have some of the lowest global warming potential per unit of electricity generated. Far less greenhouse gas is emitted than for the average unit of electricity. So wind power helps limit climate change. Wind power consumes no fuel and emits no air pollution unlike fossil fuel power sources. Wind farms are often built on land that has already been impacted by land clearing. The vegetation clearing and ground disturbance required for wind farms are minimal compared with coal mines and coal-fired power stations. If wind farms are decommissioned, the landscape can be returned to its previous condition, which is not possible in the case of other electricity-generating methods.
One more benefit to the environment is the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions caused by wind turbines. Since they don't burn fossil fuels to generate energy, they emit very little to no direct greenhouse gas emissions when in operation. By doing this, the carbon footprint related to the production of power is greatly reduced. Unlike power plants that burn coal or natural gas, wind turbines do not emit pollutants into the atmosphere such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, or particulate matter. This results in better air quality and fewer respiratory ailments in the surrounding area. Wind turbines, like many other human activities, also increase the death rate of avian creatures such as birds and bats investigations. Many investigations and reports concluded that some species, example, migrating birds and bats, are known to be harmed more than others, and that's why factors such as turbine sighting can be important. However, with ongoing research and development, these challenges are being overcome, paving the way for a future powered by the wind. Now we should also take a look at the issues that some people face due to a nearby wind turbine. Shadow flicker. The rotating blades can create a flickering shadow effect on nearby buildings, which can be bothersome to some people. Noise. Wind turbines generate noise from the spinning blades, which can be bothersome to people living nearby. The level of noise depends on the size and type of turbine, as well as the distance from the home. Ice throw. In icy conditions, ice can build up on turbine blades and be thrown off, posing a safety risk. Electromagnetic interference. Wind turbines can emit electromagnetic radiation, though the levels are typically low and not considered to harm. It is important to note that the impacts of wind turbines on people living nearby can vary depending on a number of factors, such as the size and type of turbine, the distance from the home, and individual sensitivities. Some people may be more bothered by noise or visual impact than others. So, the next time you see a wind turbine spinning in the distance, take a moment to appreciate the incredible technology at work. These aren't just metal giants, they're symbols of innovation, sustainability, and a brighter future for our planet. And there you have it, a deep dive into the captivating world of wind turbines. From the elegance of their design to their pivotal role in the fight against climate change, these technological masterpieces stand tall, both literally and metaphorically.